Welcome to a little lesson on the capital asset pricing model and the security market line. Capital asset pricing model describes the relationship between risk and expected return and is used in pricing securities. The general idea between the capital asset pricing model is that investors need to be compensated in two ways, the time value money and for risk. The time value money is represented by the risk-free rate, the rate um, when there's no risk in the market, something like a treasury, short-term treasury, U.S. treasury, I should say. And the risk premium uh, represents um, the premium of that asset over the market. We're going to demonstrate this with a little uh, chart of the security market line. So the security market line plots the results of the capital asset amount model for different risks or betas and basically it's the return is the risk-free rate plus the risk premium for the market times beta. What we show here in this uh, plot and this case are for case one the risk-free rate is six percent and the risk premium is five percent and this chart shows it at different betas so if at zero it's six percent return beta of 2, it's 16 percent. Now we're going to show it under case 2 where the risk uh, premium, the market risk premium, stays 5, but in case 2 the risk-free rate increases from 6 to 8. So something's happening in the market for the risk-free rate to increase by that amount. And what happens to the security market line? So we take the risk-free rate plus the risk premium times Beta. And we're going to do this at each of the betas. I'm just putting some Excel in here so I can copy things down. And look what happens. The entire security market line rises up. So when the risk-free rate increases, it causes the entire security market line to increase. Now in case three, the risk-free rate stays the same, 6 to 6, from case 1 to case 3, but the risk premium increases from 5 to 7.5%. And what happens in this case? Again, we take the risk-free rate plus the market risk premium times beta. Again, I'm going to put in these dollar signs so I can copy things down easily and quickly. So you see what happens here is the slope of the line increases from case one to case three. The risk-free rates are the same, so it starts at the same point for a beta of zero, but it increases, the slope increases. So as risk increase, betas increase, people want to be compensated more for that. Thank you very much.